I can't believe it's January. I mean, Freaks not me only out. are we honoring the new year, but it's also a great time because National Mentoring Month. If you're still looking for a New Year's resolution, how about committing to making a difference in a child's life through mentoring? Yeah, welcome Teresa Reesberg and Jake Michnick. Good to see both of you. Thanks for stopping Hi, in. Thanks, Thanks for so having much. us. Yeah, you guys dove right in. January 2nd, here we are, get the week <laughs> yeah. started. But Teresa, the annual mentoring recruitment campaign, it's kind of launched off today, isn't it? Yes, so to celebrate National Mentoring Month, Midlands Mentoring Partnership is working with our 11 mentoring programs to really bring awareness to mentoring, but also highlight the fact that we need more mentors. So we have hundreds of youth here in Omaha who need mentors, but unfortunately we just don't have enough. Mm -hmm. And so what happens is they're put on waiting list. And so this month we're really working just to recruit mentors and get more people involved. Now you said you work with, excuse me, 11 different programs. Can you give us an example of some of those? Yeah, so Jake is with Big Brothers Big Sisters. We also have Girls Inc., Hope Center, Kids Can. Just a lot of great programs here in Omaha. Well, the campaign's been going on a, a while. How long have you been doing the campaign to, to get raise a little bit more awareness for these? So this is our fifth year. Congratulations, that's yeah. pretty exciting. Now, you said you were with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Yes. Congratulations. Thank I just you. joined a couple months ago. Right it's a lot of fun. Yeah. She's, so, she's involved. I am involved. Uh, <laughs> when did you get started and what has this experience been like? The experience has been amazing. I've been doing it for five years now. So it's been, I got him when he was 10, um, my little brother Alex, and now I have one who's 15. So I mean, he was just a little lad and now he's two years into uh, you know high school. Um, it's been an incredible experience so far. Well, it looks Would, like you have fun here. You're fishing. Yeah, I was fishing. Oh, yes. yes. We have we kind of tr try to do every activity under the sun, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them. A lot of them we do are free. Um, sometimes they're paid, but that's the, the best things we do are the free ones. Where yeah, we're just outside playing cash, just enjoying each other's company. Yeah. Now, what's your favorite part about being a mentor? You're five years in now, so obviously yeah. there's something you really have embraced about it. Abs I mean, it, selfishly, it's all the things that he exposes me to. Um, like I didn't know there was RC racing over at Hobby Town, and I didn't know that if uh, we both went up in a little airplane together, that I'd be motion sickness for the next <laughs> right. 30 minutes and be throwing up in a bag. You so learned that, right? He teaches right. me a lot. Experience. Exactly. Yeah. He teaches me things that I need to know. <laughs> It does. For life. <laughs> uh, well, you also recently launched a corporate mentoring car campaign, correct? Yes, yeah, so Midlands Mentoring Partnership is teaming up with the mayor and Omaha Chamber just to recognize outstanding businesses here in Omaha who uh, are involved with mentoring. So it's really easy. A business just has to sign up and do three mentoring activities. It can be anything as easy as hosting a lunch and learn to donating tickets to mentoring matches, to connecting with us on social media. And so they complete the challenge and then we recognize them at the end of the month with the mayor and chamber. So a Great program, you recognize a lot of these businesses that get involved. Midlands Mentoring Partnership though, can you break down a little bit about what the organization does? Because there's, you, you're really not tied directly to any one mentoring mm -hmm. organization. It's kind of an, it's an umbrella organization. How would you describe it? Yes, yeah, so we're a collective impact model. And so how it works is we have 11 mentoring programs and we prov provide support services to them. So we do a lot of training on how to basically screen applicants for safety issues. We also pay for background checks. We do a lot of advocacy work in the state. And then we also do recruitment events throughout the year. So someone out there watching who's interested in becoming a mentor with one of these 11 programs, uh, who really makes a good mentor? You know, there's not the perfect model mm -hmm. or description of who can be a mentor. Mm -hmm. We're just really looking for supportive adults who are willing to listen and share their talents with the youth. Yeah, Jake, I, you might be a good one to ask about this. Mm -hmm. Who should be, who should consider becoming a mentor? Like, who, it, would, who would be a good candidate? Absolutely, it's really anyone. It doesn't take this mm -hmm. kind of big personality, this big role model. It's someone that has, has shows empathy and then a willingness to care and just someone that will lend an ear to listen yeah. is really all kind of these kids need to kind of really get them going and set them up for success. And I think, uh, you know, I kind of thought about this before I joined. I think people think that it takes, oh, it's going to take a lot of time. Right. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And it really doesn't. No. Like you said, uh, for instance, Big Brothers Big Sisters, they provide a list of free events going on mm -hmm. that are just a couple hours, you know, a month. Exactly. Really. So it's a great way to get involved. So, uh, so the, the time commitment, that's a big part mm -hmm. of this. Um, and she brings up a good point. 
How much time do you spend uh, with your little? Yeah, so when we started out, we probably did the, like every other weekend about an hour. Um, mm -hmm. So maybe we do like two to four hours a month, I would say. Um, and I know a bunch of people who just got done finishing their second season on Netflix. So I think we all have like <laughs> right. a time right. there. Right. And it's things you're gonna do anyway. Like I love to build Legos and play video games. So instead I'm just kind of doing it with Alex rather yeah. than by myself. So the time commitment, it seems like a lot, but it's really nothing. But the time commitment for Big Brothers, Big Sisters might be different than another mentoring organization mm -hmm. out there. Uh, so how would you direct somebody to the right organization that fits them? Yeah, so each organization is different. They serve a different population and they have a different mentoring model. But each program typically requires four hours per month to spend with their youth. Not a lot at all. So uh, how does someone get started? How do they contact you? And get yeah, help? so go to mentoromahanow.org. You can learn about all the different programs and then also take a quick little survey, see what program is right for you, and then get signed up. Well, the website's right there, mentoromahanow.org. That's the website, or give them a call, 402-715-4149. And it's a good month to recognize all the mentors out there. So thanks, Jake, for all Absolutely. that you do. You need, all the kids need some good role models out there. So we appreciate it. Thank you Thanks so for much. coming in. Thank good you. to see you. Right. Thank you. All right, guests of the morning.